Are you that person that after 8, 12, maybe 16 weeks of trying to lose weight, you've just given up? Let's talk about that here on Exchange for Gains. Exchange for Gains. Don't let Jim get lost at the moment. Listen, that's our lifestyle. We ain't getting any younger. Why fall to the side and lie down? Give it those plates, I'll push that down. Only food that I put in my body be good. I don't want to look bug when I look back. I want to look ram. Get to the This trend get fitness, trust in the process. What's going on people? Welcome to my channel, my name's Deron. Today we're going to discuss what it really takes for you to lose weight. Whether you're looking to bulk, whether you're looking to shred, whether you're looking to get that six pack abs look, we're going to discuss what it really takes for you to reach your goal. First things first, one of the most important things when it comes to losing weight or reaching your goal is to focus on yourself. Do not, I repeat, do not focus on other people's journeys. Do not focus on other people's routines. Focus on yourself and stick to a plan that suits you. Do not be distracted by what you see on social media, distracted by friends. Do not be distracted by what other people tell you to do. Focus on what you want to do in terms of reaching your goal. What I would say what worked for me, and hopefully this could work for you, is my first tip when it comes to losing weight or shredding that body fat is your mindset. Your mindset has to be right in order for you to lose weight. You cannot be thinking, well, you know, I'm an average looking guy and I'm looking to shred down to 12 or 10% body fat within six weeks. It does not work like that. It does not work. Regardless of what you see other people do or what other people say, your body is different from other people's, right? And if you're a natural person who does not take any form of drugs or enhancements, it's going to take longer. Remember, stick to your goal. Do not, I repeat, do not focus on what you see on social media. That's what I did at first. I focused on what I saw in terms of the pictures, the videos, and so on and so forth. You're just, you're just gonna end up in a rabbit hole. Focus on your goal and ensure that your mindset in terms of what you want to do, in terms of where your targets are, are achievable. This applies to both male and female. Your mindset has to be correct. Be realistic. Do not think that your this is just an example, you're 14 stone and you want to drop down to 11 stone or 10 stone within six to eight weeks. It just does not work like that. Unless you're starving yourself, which is not healthy, it's not the right thing to do. It's not healthy. You're not going to enjoy it. The whole process in terms of losing weight is to, for it to be enjoyable at the end of the day or you're just going to give up. So your mindset has to be right. Tip number one. Tip number two, you've got to ask yourself, how badly do I want this? How badly do I really want to lose weight? How badly do I really want to reach my target? And not only that, is my target achievable? Is it realistic in terms of the time, if you've got a time frame for it? Tip number two is definitely determination. You have to be determined. You cannot think within six to eight weeks, I'm going to be looking like that model, he, whether it's he or she, you have to be realistic and you have to be determined. In terms of where I was, I wasn't exactly a huge fat guy. Yes, I was, I was in the best of shape beforehand, but I wouldn't say I was huge and I wasn't like obese, so to speak. But where I was then to where I am now is taking me a year. Yes, a year. Don't get me wrong, it took me a year, it could take you six months or potentially longer. With determination comes making sacrifices. Along the way, regardless of what your targets are, whether it's bulking, shredding, losing body fat, lean, whatever your, whatever your goals are, you're going to have to make sacrifices along the way. My initial journey, of, like I said before, was to lose that body fat, to get down to a weight where you can see my visible abs. It was very difficult, you know, working nine to five, looking after the kids, so on and so forth. However, if you really want it, if you really want it, you'll make sacrifices along the way. I've had to go gym at 6am in the morning. It's not my ideal routine, but I've had to make that sacrifice in order for me to reach my goal. So with determination, 
you're gonna have to make sacrifices along the way but enjoy it enjoy it once you see that few pounds start to come off you or once you see the muscles starting to sort of like bulk up it gives you encouragement not only to continue but to enjoy it more tip number three consistency this is where everyone well no, I wouldn't say everyone this is where most people tend to fall off you start off well, you're in the routine, then after six to eight, maybe 12 weeks, you think, I'm not losing any weight. I can't really see a difference. Then you fall off. You go back to eating the junk or you go back to eating snacks or whatever it may be, and then you gain more weight or you just don't lose any body weight at all. You have to be consistent. How, again, it goes back to the mindset. How much do you want it? How determined are you? Are you willing to be consistent? Are you willing to work hard? Are you willing to make sacrifices? You have to be consistent in order for you to reach your goal. And again, stay in your lane. Forget social media. Forget that person down the road who's got, you know, the bikini look or the six pack or look or who's got so much muscle, who's got the, you know, the physique that you want. Forget them. Stay in your lane. Focus on your journey. It's a marathon. It's never a sprint. It's a marathon. It is never a sprint. Unless you're a professional athlete who's trying to, you know, get into a competition or anything like that, then that's different. But if you're a general 9 to 5 worker like myself, just an average guy who's looking to you know, lose weight or bulk or average lady who works nine to five or shift work, who's looking to, you know, lose body fat or reach a specific target. It is a marathon. It is never a sprint. Enjoy it. Take your time with it. Be consistent with it. That's tip number three. Tip number four, I would say, is one of the most important tips that I'll give today. In fact, I would say it is the most important tip I'll give today, and that is patience. Again, these things take time. It takes time. I mean, like I said, it took me a year for me to reach where I am today. Don't get me wrong, I've reached my goal and I'm hoping to sort of like improve on my goal. I'm hoping to get a better physique. However, it's taken me a year. They say you should lose a pound per week in terms of body fat if you're looking to lose weight. Or half a pound. Listen, I'll be honest with you. There's times where I was in a calorie deficit, and again, we'll go on to get calorie deficit as time goes on. I was in a calorie deficit for ages, ages and ages and ages. And there's been weeks that's gone by where, I haven't, well, according to the scale, I haven't lost any weight. I haven't lost any body fat. However, the scales don't always tell you what you need to know. It's just, a, again, scales can be very deceiving. One week it can say that you've lost two, three pounds, and the next five weeks it can say that you've lost nothing. What I would say is, have your patience. Be very patient at all times. It's going to take time. And don't always rely on the scale. Judge it on your clothes. The jeans that you wore four months ago, are they loose? Regardless if they're only a little bit loose or if they're massively loose, it shows that you're losing weight. Have patience. So for me, the journey was long, it was hard, but it, was, it became enjoyable. When I saw I was losing body fat, when I saw, used to, when I lift up my top and I could see just a little bit of the abs, absolutely ecstatic. That made me push even more. That made me want to go harder even more. That made me want to, you know what? I'm, go I'm currently going to gym three times a week. Let me go four. Let me push in that one more. 6 a.m. starts. Or going to the gym at 9 p.m. just before it closes. Try to fit in those particular training sessions. Just, just so that I can reach my goal. You can do the same. I know everyone's schedule is different. Even if you can fit in two times a week, at least you're pushing yourself and you're trying. But at the end of the day, guys, it's down to you. Nobody can push you. No, everyone can encourage, but nobody can force you to do something that you don't really want to do. It's entirely down to yourself how much you want it. And my final tip for the day would be, regardless of what your goal is, 
Be realistic. Be realistic. Don't say or don't have in your mind that within six months you want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day or you want to have a physique like a model when you're nowhere near that now. It, you have to be realistic. Forget those clickbait adverts where, that say, do you want to have abs in two weeks? Do 25 crunches each day and you'll be fine. Forget all that. Forget all that because it's not going to work. They just want you to click on their little pages so they can get the views up. Be realistic with your goals. What takes one man six months might take you two years. What takes one man a year might take you three. Everyone's got different starting points. But be realistic with your goal. And I guarantee you will get there. If you really want it. If you really want it. If you're willing to make those sacrifices, you will get there. That goes for male, that goes for female, that goes whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever your age group is, you will get there. You just have to want it badly and willing to make those sacrifices. At the end of the day, what I say to myself is fitness for me is almost like a lifestyle. I've made so much sacrifices. In terms of my diet, I've made so much sacrifices. You know, coming from a Caribbean background, I like my rice and peas, I like my jerk chicken, you know, all that kind of stuff. I love it. And I used to eat it constantly, every single, sometimes every day, without fail. But now, I'm more careful in terms of what I eat. Don't get me wrong, I still eat it, but not as much. I'm more on my veg and my lean meats. I wouldn't say you can eat everything and anything you want. But just be mindful of what you're putting in your body. Because sometimes, not all times, you're putting in your body can essentially allow you to put more weight on. But again, we'll go into nutrition later on down the line. But be realistic with your goals. Okay, people, that's it from me this week. If you're feeling this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Exchange for Gains. Um, like I said, I'll be coming through with some nutrition tips. Um, some workout tips going forward and just general conversation in regards to my journey and hopefully, hopefully what worked for me, even if it's half of it or one or two tips can work from you. I'm not an expert, I'm not professional, but I'm sharing my journey with you guys and hopefully I'm praying, I'm hoping that what works for me, any little tips again can work from you. Move it, Karen, Karen. Time I make those lifestyle changes. Do it, do it like Darren, Darren. Wake it.